Sifu, should we add BJJ so that our stuff more practical? Sifu, should we spar to test our stuff? Sifu, why you keep hitting me? I just try to make our stuff more combative. Good for you. In 2021, Kung Fu is just a history and MMA is the future. That's why I try to tell my Sifu to get into grappling and BJJ. Also, I want him to spark to take all of our stuff because the stuff needs to work under pressure. But it's hard to tell him though. He's traditional and stubborn. So hear the conversation. Sifu, many people said Wing Chun is not realistic. Let me fight them in the honor of you and Grandmaster Jipman. That's okay. People have the right to express themselves freely. There is a reason why the whole world is against Nazis. Because they no freedom. But they said that it's not realistic. Especially Jesus. Because that's not how people fight. Well, they got a point. It's just for teaching purposes. Like, you know, just for training and feeling the pressure. You, you, you don't take it literally into fighting. Right? For example, if, if you see somebody in the bar come to you and, and, and start to do this to you, please don't fight him. He struggled. He suffered. He just tried to control his will on his car. Just try to try to a better place because the war is cruel. Also, only loser will attack mental illness people. So don't do that. But in Jesus, we're allowed to hit, you know? Why don't we just go fast and then put on helmet? So we simulate with fighting. Yes, you can make it happen. You can do it fast. But there's no point of doing it. It's not fun anymore. You need to do what you enjoy to do. Be positive in life. Be the boss of your life. Stop listening to people. But see, for I get it. Like, it must be fun for us to train, yes, but I don't enjoy it if I actually get punched in the face in the street. We have to make it more combative, more practical. One of my friends just told me that BJJ is much more practical than Wing Chun. We should add BJJ into our training. Oh, so you said that uh, two men crawling on the ground and smell lit Jot of sweat is better. Hey, that's okay. It's trendy, trendy one. I accept that. Your parents accept that. Open your heart and spread it freely. Nobody can judge you. Live truly to who you are. But for me, I pass that. I'd rather die in the battle. No, Sifu, you, you said about grinding through the hard stuff. This is the time, Sifu. We had to do it. But I swear on the name of the Wing Chun ancestor, I will punch people in the groin if they try to steal my lunch money. And BJJ, you're not allowed to punch. Not even to mention in the groin. I get the idea. It's a good art. I respect that. It's the art of love. But for me, I cannot do it. It might be good for some people. But I cannot show love to a stranger who haven't showered for a month. And I have to do it in, in public, like right on the ground. I cannot do it like I'm traditional. Okay, Sifu, but you know, at least we have to spar to test our stuff, right? You know, my roommate just laugh at me because why he's sparring on the boxing ring? I have to do the stupid student thing. Having you as a student make me remind the time that I stay in my parents' basement. I pretend that I'm cool, but deep inside, I'm hurt. I'm just a loser. I will only accept to spar if I'm allowed to attack you anywhere, anytime when you're in the toilet and try to make comfort of yourself, I will break the door and I will attack you. 
Let's see if you can still keep your hand up on the time. Also, I will allow to throw the coffee at you with the cutting board at you and you have to clean the mess. Plus, okay, don't, don't, don't let me do this. It's cruel. you like my son. I don't want to do it to you. But I'm allowed to call my best friend. His specialty in grabbing nuts. And he will grab the nut from behind. Steal it. It will get you traumatized. Trust me, I've been there. Sifu, I, 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 I get that. Like, we can train all of the situations separately. Extra. It's a bonus. But, if somebody keep punching me, I'll, I'll get used to the pressure, right? Instead of doing the, the ceiling toe, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, how come the ceiling toe help me in the real fight? I feel bad for your parents. But you know, I will charge them more for just to deal with your stupidness. So, you said that you, you want to test your stuff under real pressure and you cannot even do it right by yourself in slow motions. How can you do it when somebody come at you fast and especially they, they come at you like zombie non-stop and try to bite your head off? What you gonna do about it? And, and you know, Kung Fu is like, it's like math, right? Don't combat stuff. Don't, don't, don't take it. Literally. Honestly, I, I mean it. How much math do you need in your daily life? So why do you have to study math? Like, how many fight will you fight till you die? You're stupid. That's just common sense. Now, if you look at kind of like in the metaphor, right? You here. Okay, do it slow. Work on refining the technique. Extreme focus. And what extreme focus is like? John Wick, let me tell you that. The guy laugh at your ass. I see him. I see how his future will become. He will stay in his parent basement for the rest of his life. Maybe next life, because he's dumb. But you, you're safeable. Asleep, you don't quit. You're still here. So I can help you to move out of your parent basement. Now, I'm tired. Don't make me talk too much. See, now I talk much. People don't like it. And if they don't watch my YouTube, I have no money. I'm broke. I may have to move back to my parent basement. The reason I don't spar is not because I cannot. But I have no interest in trying to fight other professional fighters. I try to prepare you and me for the zombie apocalypse. We have to look far ahead. Don't, don't look narrow. You're still young and foolish. Now imagine this. You go down the street, walk in the corner, and then the guy stay there. Try to steal your lunch money. Now, do you think Mike Tyson will stand there to steal your lunch money? Only 40% of Canadian exercise. 40%. Now, how many people in that 40% do martial art professionally? Let's say Mike Tyson decides to stand there and rock your ass. No Kung Fu can save you. If I'm there, I'm screwed. You see how fast he is, how, how, how strong he punched? He's gonna screw me up like none of the Wing Chun will work against him. There's, there's no martial art can help you. But if you want to think combative, right? How to make yourself more combative? Hold on a second, hold on a second. You grab one of these, okay? Now, my Tyson screw, right? If I got one of these, he's screwed. I don't think he's faster than this. And this is just a toy. If I got a shot, then no martial art is going to beat me. Do you understand the thing I just said? It's not about the martial art. It's not 
about how combative you are. When people punch you in the head, I don't care if you train boxing, Wing Chun, Mei Tai, MMA, whatever. Are you gonna be like this and scream like a baby girl? Huh? Or at least you do something. Even though there's always a better way to do it. But at least you do something. You, you don't terrify it. That's the true gift of martial arts. Until you can do so, you can call yourself a Kung Fu man. Right? Not, not like, ugh, like, oh, I want this in, in my style or want that in my style to make it more combative. No, you dumb ass. You see John Wick doing some BJJ with gun and, and then you think you train BJJ, you're going to be like John Wick. You're better than that. Okay? And I have hope in you. I think you have potential to move out of your parents' basement. Okay? So don't disappoint me. Now I go to bed. You stupid can't take too much of my time. If you're tired, I'm ready. Train cylinder 20 times and then wake me up. Remember to train hard. Don't be like your friend. Your stupid friend. Should not hang out with them. Shit. I better get back to practice more cylinder. I don't want to stay in my parents' basement my whole life. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think it's practical to train cylinder and, and cheese out rather than sparring or adding BJJ to the stuff? Let me know in the comment sections. Okay, I, I need to get back to training now. I'm pretty scared. I don't want to stay there forever. It smells crap.